Running is the thing that, that drives me the most. It's kind of uh, an obsession to go out there <laughs> and, um, and, and see how well I can do in a marathon. So I started running back in the, in the, in the early 70s. And then I had a couple of friends that ran marathons. And uh, I thought, well, okay, let me try that. So I ran my first marathon in 1976. And, you know, I was pretty good at it. As I've gotten older, it's actually gotten sort of more important. My times have gone down. But but uh, I kind of always want to break top 10 in my division in marathons. I mean, how many guys my age can go out and run 45 miles a week and be 10th in their age group, you know, in a marathon? So that's, that's what kind of keeps me moving. So I run every day. Uh, if I don't get in my daily run, I don't feel good. I liked the LA Marathon when it started downtown. It used to start down down in downtown LA, in the in the Urban Canyon there, and it finished there, and that was the greatest feeling to to go out and run the marathon, and then the last last uh, couple of miles, you know, you're in the Urban Canyon there, and 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 you can see the finish line up there, and. You can, and the, the cheers are echoing off the walls and so forth. You, you can, you, you know how Olympic athlete must feel. You, you're just, you know, some nobody out there, but you, you're imagining they're all cheering for you. Those moments finishing the LA Marathon in the Urban Canyon, I think those are my most memorable marathon moments. I write, I do all my research in my head when I'm running, because I, I always run alone, and so I, I, my mind goes off into some, like some paper I'm writing or some exercise I'm trying to prepare for my class or something like that. The next day after the marathon when you're all stiff, it's I feel very righteous. When, when I can you know, I can hardly walk, but I think this is this is the way one should feel when one is 